Hello. In the next few minutes, you'll learn about DHD's EasyPAP. Whether you're considering it as part of your respiratory care program or because you've already instituted its use. EasyPAP is a device that is indicated for use in lung expansion therapy and the treatment and prevention of atelectasis. EasyPAP may be used with a nebulizer and is available in various mask sizes. Atelectasis is the collapse of part or all of a lung due to the blockage of the air passages or very shallow breathing. Most often, a patient is vulnerable to atelectasis postoperatively. It's important to expand the lungs during recovery to prevent or reverse the effects of atelectasis, which may foster pneumonia. Positive airway pressure, or PAP therapy, enables splinting open the airways to help stabilize them and reinflate collapsed alveoli. Treatment of atelectasis requires collateral ventilation in the lungs. Collateral ventilation through the pores of Kahn and the canals of Lambert results from the prolonged positive back pressure generated during PAP. This allows airflow to enter these channels behind areas of mucus obstruction, keeping the airways open during exhalation. The therapeutic pressure range is usually between 5 and 20 centimeters of water. Let's take a look at how EasyPAP works. EasyPAP utilizes the Coanda effect. That is, the gas source going into the unit is amplified approximately four times. For example, a flow of 8 liters per minute would deliver approximately 32 liters per minute to the patient. This amplified flow creates a positive airway pressure throughout the patient's breathing cycle. The expiratory resistance provides PEP therapy to further splint open the airways and reinflates the alveoli through collateral ventilation. With EasyPAP, the patient receives a positive pressure inspiratory assist when inhaling, their breath hold is positive pressure, and there's a positive expiratory pressure, PEP, on exhalation. The goal of using EasyPAP is to assist the patient in opening the airways in their lungs. Those who benefit from the use of EasyPAP include post-surgical patients who develop atelectasis, patients who are unable to perform deep breathing exercises due to pain or non-cooperation, patients needing lung expansion therapy that cannot follow instructions, patients requiring lung expansion but with inadequate inspiratory capacity, less than 10 cc's per kilogram, patients that qualify for IPPB treatment of atelectasis, and patients requiring aerosol medication in conjunction with opening the airways. The EasyPAP system consists of the following items. The positive airway pressure device, including an ambient air inlet with a 22 mm serrated connection, a gas inlet port, and a pressure monitoring port with cap. The patient interface, a mouthpiece or mask, and a 7 foot length of oxygen tubing to connect the gas inlet port to the wall flow meter. Setup is easy. First, connect one end of the tubing supplied with the EasyPAP to a 0 to 15 liter per minute flow meter that is connected to a 50 to 60 psi medical air or oxygen source. Next, connect the patient end of the tubing coming from the flow meter to the EasyPAP gas inlet port. Then, connect tubing from the EasyPAP pressure monitoring port to a pressure gauge. This is recommended for the initial setup to monitor the pressures transmitted to the patient. If pressure monitoring is not being done, seal the port with the attached pressure monitoring port cap. The pressure monitoring port should not be exposed to ambient air while in use. Attach the mouthpiece or face mask to the rounded end of the device. The serrated end should be exposed to ambient air at all times. It's important to remember not to occlude this end. Finally, inspect the device on a routine basis to ensure its proper use and function. If damaged, it should be replaced immediately. Verify that all connections are secure. To begin, instruct the patient to relax while performing diaphragmatic breathing. Set the flow rate to 5 liters per minute on the wall air or oxygen flow meter. Place the mouthpiece in the patient's mouth and instruct the patient to breathe easily against the pressure from the device. Be sure that the patient maintains a tight seal on the mouthpiece during therapy. Recommend the use of a nose clip if necessary. If using a mask, apply the mask tightly but comfortably over the nose and mouth. While monitoring the airway pressure, slowly adjust the flow meter until the desired expiratory airway pressure is reached. 
slow inhalations and exhalations by the patient will maintain adequate airway pressure during the breathing cycle. EasyPAP is intended to be used on an intermittent basis and not for extended periods of time. EasyPAP can be used with a nebulizer to provide simultaneous aerosol drug delivery while performing therapy for lung expansion. Studies have shown a significant improvement in forced expiratory volume in the first second, in forced vital capacity, and in the peak expiratory flow rate when aerosol therapy is delivered in conjunction with PEP therapy. It's important that the device instructions for the EasyPAP, as well as the intended nebulizer, are fully understood. The selected nebulizer should be used according to the manufacturer's instructions for use in a positive pressure system. Follow the setup instructions for each device and then verify that all connections are secure. Setup is straightforward. Place the nebulizer between the mouthpiece and the device. Place the mouthpiece lightly into the patient's mouth. Be sure that the patient maintains a tight seal on the mouthpiece during the therapy. Recommend the use of a nose clip if necessary. If using a mask, apply the mask tightly but comfortably over the nose and mouth. Instruct the patient to breathe diaphragmatically. Perform breathing through the device as recommended. EasyPAP is intended for single patient use and should be cleaned as needed. Do not immerse it in liquid. Rather, wash the parts by swabbing them with warm, soapy water, rinse, and then air dry the device by resting it on its side with the mouthpiece removed until all liquid droplets have evaporated. Let's quickly review some of the benefits of EasyPAP. It's easy to learn. It can be performed on all patients regardless of their level of consciousness. It can be adjusted to individual patient needs. It's inexpensive. It's easy to set up and use. It's small and takes up little space. It has a shorter treatment time than other therapies. It delivers simultaneous aerosol therapy. We're very pleased that you're considering or have instituted the use of EasyPAP, and we know that your patients will benefit from its use. DHD is committed to working in partnership with individuals who have respiratory problems in an effort to improve respiratory health. If you have any questions about this product or positive airway pressure, please call us at our toll-free number 800-847-8000 or visit us on our website www.dhd.com.